Well, good morning, folks. It's a pretty morning this morning. I tell you what, I've had a little bit of trouble rounding me some bait up. But today I want to catch catfish. It's hot. The water temperature is about 86 degrees on top. And uh, I feel like we can catch a few catfish down deep. 45 to 50 foot of water. I believe we can catch a few. How big? I don't know. We're just testing the waters today. Stay with me. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. All right. I'm up here on my spot right here. It is uh, 54 feet of water. I said 50 foot, but it's 54 foot right here it's right on the side of the tennessee river these columns are and uh i'm gonna tie up right here and it's right on the side of the river now and there's a lot of structure right here in this area uh, rocks and probably concrete from them building this bridge it's just a bunch of stuff right here all accumulated and we'll just fish straight down sorta in this deep water and see what we can come up with they could be it's been a while since i've done this they could be channels in here uh blue cat and also white cat but we'll see and then there may not be anything this is fishing <laughs> but i think they are whoop First fish of the day. Now out of this real, real deep water like this, I bring these fish up real slow. Even the small ones. Now this is a small catfish right here. We'll see what kind he is. He hit pretty quick and I'll show you what I'm doing right here to catch him. See what kind he is. It's a little blue. Little blue cat. All right, come on in here. <laughs> now that's a pretty little old fish. And now these is good eating. This size. I don't need but five or six of these probably. But that's a baby blue. Quit. And I'll show you a good way to catch them right here in the summer. That's a good eating size. Now, if you're going to eat catfish, there he is. There's the size. Got him on ice right there. Let's get a, a couple of these out, and I'll show you. Okay. I've just got a three-quarter ounce weight right here with a swivel and a liter about 16 inches. Now, what I'm doing is I'm well, there's one left. I'll just go ahead and hook this one is I'm hooking these little shad. These are little gizzard shad, and I'm doubling up on them. Now I have a circle hook. This is a two alt circle hook, and I just have a 17 pound leader, and this is 12 pound line on my main line. So I knew, you know, this hole has got a lot of blue cat, channel cat, and it's possible to catch a flathead right here too. But uh, these are just good eating size catfish. And it's the only size I'll eat, the small ones. But I'm just letting it down there in that 50 foot of water. Now the, the weight's on the bottom, but I'm going to barely pick the weight up. And I'm taking a chance right here. <laughs> and I'm going to wait for the bite. And it shouldn't be long. We're right on the edge of the river right here. And these fish is, is going to definitely, in the summertime, they're going to go right around, right on the break line of the river. And they'll come through here in small schools. So, the, so you'll have a void period where you're not catching them. And all of a sudden, they'll come through and you'll catch them, a few of them. 
But what's holding these fish is the structure right here in front of me. When they do come in here, they'll mill around a little bit before they go on. So it's a good place for fish just to run. Uh, just because I'm using, let me add this fact, these small shad like this, it don't mean that they're all going to be little. I mean, a big one could come through here, no doubt, and grab them little baits. You never know about catfish. I'm going to throw this big shiner out right here on the... Well, let me catch this fish first, folks. Eating size. That's what we want. See what cut, what kind of... Look, now look right here. Now we're gonna let this one go right here. I was just talking about flathead. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> now is that not a pretty little flathead catfish? There's no way. That is pretty. Now right here on this hole, I think it was in 2000. It was either 1999 or 2000. That's how long it's been since I've been to this hole. I caught a 48 pound flathead right here. So that's the reason I'm going to put this big bait out here just to see. But there, look at that little flathead. Now, he was deep. Let's let him go. That's pretty. There he is. Now, that's what you call a baby right there. But let's put this shiner out right here. It's a golden shiner, and I'm just going to flip him on out here. They could be. Now, his mama could be out here. I'm not for sure. But the reason that little flathead was right here, right in the middle of the summer, is because of the structure that's out here. It's very important for flathead and blue. Okay, we're on the bottom right here. Now, I dare a big old flathead to hit this. I got an eight alt hook on here. Gamakatsu, which is my favorite. I'm just going to put it in the rod holder here and we'll wait see what will happen i'll just put that one out and the, the weight's hitting the bottom just boom 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 like that and that'll call if there's a big flathead in here or blue that'll call one in right here on the edge of this creek or river excuse me all right let's get rebaited up right here and let's catch another one There we go. That feels like a little blue. Just the right size to eat. No, it's the drummer, the music maker. He felt, they, they feel just like a catfish, small catfish. They twist and turn and he's vibrating. He's doing that grunt and stuff. Freshwater drum, let's let him go. Going back. A lot of folks says you can blacken those and they're real good eating. I don't know. I don't know, that'd have to be real blacking for me though. There we go. I got that one bump in the bottom. I've changed my way of fishing just a little bit. Let's see what we got right here. He's fighting. Oh my, that's a good catfish right here. For the way I'm fishing it is. I had two shad on that time in a Carolina rig. Look at him, look at him, look at him. I believe I'll net him with this net right here to say it was the first fish that I netted with my new net. My $16 net right here. There we go. Now that one ain't too big to eat. He's almost too big, but not quite. Pretty little blue. Ain't that pretty? They are. Blue cats are real pretty. 
<laughs> I can't help it, folks. I like, I like the way they look. I like the way they're shaped. Especially when they're 30 pounds and better, but that, now these are for eating right here. Let's put him in here. Get on in there. I'm gonna grab me a Coke while I, yeah. Get that slime off of it, dead, you know it? That's part of it, though. I'm fishing shallower than what I was. I'm actually in 21 feet of water, and I'm just bumping these shad. Let me rig a couple of these up. And I love the fish this way, too. It works uh, in the summertime. Now, it's not really a big fish way of fishing, but you can catch a lot of good eating sized catfish like this. But what I do is just same thing right through the eyes. Two. And this is a size two alt. Circle hook right here in the leader about, oh, it's probably about 14 inches. And that fish hit right there. Right in there. I'm just going to let it to the bottom. Like that. And all I'm doing is bumping around these columns right here and just barely boom, boom, like that. Probing around for them in behind and around these columns. There's a lot of shad around them and that's why these fish are relating to these columns like this. And uh, when they hit, they hit. Just like that last fish I caught, it's just whoom, there's no doubt about it. And he'll set the hook yourself just about it. I let the rod load up and then start reeling or, but you don't need to jerk with a circle hook, you'll miss them. There we go. That fish hit it and come to me. This fish is fighting. He may be too big, but I can't talk. Too big to eat. Mm. Nah, he ain't too big. He'd be all right. I want him a little bit smaller than that, but that'd be okay. Another blue. Fishing for him like you would a bass. Bump in the bottom. Let's go ahead and net him. Get to use my net twice. God, them's pretty fish. When they're that size, they are. Now, he knocked the fire out of it. Circle hook got him a little bit funny. Where's my plowers? Now, I'm using them. Um, I usually use, like for the big catfish, I'll use uh, Gamakatsu circle hooks. But fishing like this, I like the Seaguar. They're made by Eagle Claw. There he is. We'll put him in the bucket. Now that is pretty right there. We'll put him in the bucket and catch another one. Yeah, them little Seaguar hooks are real cheap. You can get them at Walmart. Oh my goodness, For sometimes you can catch them on sale for $1.99 for a five pack or six pack. And they're real sharp, real sharp right there on the end. You don't hardly ever miss a fish, but don't jerk, just real, real quick. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got a big fish right here. Coming up to the top, so it's a blue. I was, I'll explain that right here in a second. Big gone. I mean a big fish for this little reel rod right here. These big blues will hit little baits when there's a lot of bait around like this. That's what they're used to. I mean, I'll talk in a minute, folks. I ain't got but 14 pound line right here. I was fixing to tie me another leader because I broke off on the other rod and I, <laughs> I put two shad on this one 
and I was going to fish that column but just a little bit more and I was going to move to the other side of it and this happened it's a big one too big to eat we're going to let this one go right here if he don't break my line we will but I'm just going to take my time they're mean see them air bubbles they are mean when the water's hot they got their a lot of power look here what one golly day i didn't expect it but i knew it could happen because i've had this happen a lot of times fishing this way bumping the bottom look at there they on two little shad doubled up to give it that action right there still can't talk uh, that happened just all of a sudden now let's get a net on that fish okay man now that's a big one for what i'm doing right here i didn't expect that today see fishing you don't never know you never know what'll happen now folks this is the type of stuff right here that elmo misses okay when they're that big, when they're that big, they're stout. <coughs> Ooh, I, I can't do nothing with him, man. Let's let him go. I tell you, folks, that fish slammed me. That's a good one right there. Let's let him go. He's a big one. Go on back, boy. Golly, dang. It is burning up hot out here. And this rod's a... <laughs> this rod. This boat's a mess, but it don't matter. I'm after one. Let's catch another one. I got a fish on here. There he is. Yep. Let me loosen my drag off. I got a good fish. Another good one. Let me get him out of the columns. Now, fishing with this 12-pound, 12, 14-pound 12, test line, you're taking a chance. I'm just going to lead him away from the column right here. You're taking a big chance. But now it is sporty. I got a big fish right here. They're wanting small baits. These bigger fish are. Let me turn around here with him. I got him hooked good, so I'm going to loosen that drag off so we can wear him out. <laughs> you know, this fish is fighting a lot different than that other one did. I, I kind of lean towards a blue, but it's sort of fighting like a flathead right here. Tell you the truth, we'll see right here. No, look right what it is. See, I knew there was a difference in the pool. It's a big old drum. Golly, no wonder he gave me a fit. Big drum. He wouldn't come into the top of the water like a blue. And he's wanting to fight straight down. So that made me feel like he was flathead. Golly, bum, what a drum. I've caught some big ones today. Good ones. Let's let him go right here. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. See if he can... Yep, he went back. I seen some bubbles come up, and I knew it was a catfish. I didn't think about a drum. <laughs> My goodness, you never know. tell y'all what folks i really enjoyed today uh for a lot of different reasons for one i don't target catfish as much as i used to uh, i used to fish for them a whole lot and i'm a little bit out of touch with them but uh, i certainly wasn't able to catch them the way that i wanted to or planned to i had to change strategies altogether 
to figure out how to catch a few. Uh, summertime fishing during the day, it can be pretty tough when it comes to catfish, sometimes. This was one of those sometimes. So um, I'm just tickled to death that I caught what I did. And uh, I like to use bottom bumping like that. Of course, this is not a bottom bumping rig at all. This is just a standard Carolina rig. But I like a long leader. And I like just enough weight to make contact with the bottom to, to be able to allow that bait freedom to move to present that bait to as many fish as I possibly can. In other words, cover water. And uh, by that weight bumping the bottom, I think it aggravates them into biting, is what I believe, uh, in hot water. But that's just an opinion. Uh, it used to work for me years ago, and it still does. Uh, but catfish is a lot of fun to catch, no doubt. I believe I used to catch a lot more, but I targeted them a, a lot more, especially flathead. But uh, I want to thank y'all very much for watching all the great comments. I'm having problems on that. Okay. I appreciate the comments, the good comments. And the, hey man, you know, adrenaline hit me right then when I stuttered. I have that problem. Woo. Hey, golly. Can you feel it? I can. I love it. Does you like the outdoors? Hey, man. Woo! Darn it! Now, guys, look. Go fishing when you can, but a cause is good.